Guys, if you want to know how I've made this gorgeous stew, then watch this video. I'm outside, little. Let's go and see what stuffy meal I can cook up today. Let's grab a basket and get to it. First off, going to grab two massive potatoes. Next, going to grab yourself some peppers. Also, you want to be getting some mixed beans, some baked beans, and finally, a gammon joint. And I'm going to pick a smoked one. So I'm going to be making a take-on campfire stew. So let's get it home and cook it up. Right, so we're back home now, guys. And I'd just like to thank everyone for liking it and following my page. I couldn't do this without you. So this is my take on a campfire stew. So we have a gammon here. You can use salted or unsalted, and that goes straight into the crock pot, just like that. Crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. Then we have the peppers. So I've done all three peppers in there, like so. Also going to be using some veg stock here that I've just whisked into like 300 mils of cold water. We're going to get that in. Look at that. And this is so easy. Then go in your baked beans. Also going in are my washed mixed beans. And I'm going to add some mixed herbs, some paprika or paprika, some garlic granules, and some onion, gran onion granules. And we're also going to add some black pepper, but not salt, because the gammon is salty enough. And guys, that's it. That's all you have to do. So my potatoes are going to be for some mash after. So I'm going to go out, going to get this on high. And see you later. So I'm back home now, guys. I've had a great day, and this is ready to serve up. It's been so cold out there today and I just wanted something really warm and tasty. So this is what it looks like. So all you have to do, get two forks and just break up your gammon like that. Oh, it's beautiful. And you know what? If you don't want to have this with mash, you could have it with chips. You could have it by itself as like a really, really thick stewy soup and have like granary bread with it nice and buttered so we're just splitting all that up like that and as you can see it's getting really thick now look at that Oof. this would be perfect to have on like bonfire night as well so i've made my mash up here that was out of those two big potatoes as well i'm gonna get that into a bowl absolutely tons here as well and then we're gonna get a great big ladle and get that right in the bowl. And that is easy, four portions. I mean, if you want to make more mash for more people, go ahead, but that is one massive portion. So let's try it. I mean, I love gammon anyway. It's probably one of my favorite meats. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Guys, if you want to know how I made this, watch this video.